this is Taryn Silverstein, user interface lead artist at NetherRealm Studios, and you are watching Atomics. Yeah, well, you know, we really wanted to um, kind of pay homage to our fans, and, you know, everyone really just loved 1, 2, and 3, especially 2 and 3, and uh, this was our opportunity to just kind of update it, make it fresh, kind of reimagine, like, what... With, with the new graphics, like, um, just, you know, just bring it into this day and age and really make everything look amazing. I mean, we've got some, also, we've got, like, while we're, we're doing major throwbacks, I mean, the fatalities are back and they're better than ever. Um, we've got some new features, like, uh, Test Your Luck, which is a really cool, like, party mode where you have, like, a slot machine and it brings up different modifiers. So you could, like, have armless combat or no blocking or no throwing. And it affects each character. Like some characters will get it, some characters won't. And it's just like a really fun way to like mix up the actual game mechanics that we already have. We also have a King of the Hill mode, which is a great online mode where you know there's eight players in a room, and uh, you're just trying to unseat the champion. So it's a really fun mode. Well, you know, we really wanted to like you know, make a game that our fans, our hardcore fans would really love, but at the same time we want to make a game that, you know, new people can feel like they can play, and we want to appeal to a broader audience than just our fans. So, you know, it, it does suit both. I mean, we have a lot of training modes. We have a tutorial mode, which really takes you through the basic steps of the game. Um, there's a fatality trainer, which is like the new, we've never done that before, but, you know, a lot of our fans feel like the fatalities are so hard to pull off and when you've got that like little time to do it you just kind of freak out so this is really gives you an opportunity to practice over and over so you can really learn how to do them so on that aspect we do our, we're, we are supporting our like new fans but also like just if you're if you're a hardcore Mortal Kombat gamer like you're still gonna be able to beat a new new player any day because you know how to use breakers you know how to use enhanced moves We've got x-rays, and these are all like things that, you know, you can strategize how you play your game. And to someone who doesn't really know what they're doing, you're going you're gonna to beat them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, number one, working on a franchise with the fan base that we have, I mean, it's all, you know, to work on a game that people just love is amazing, but also, like, my... My fellow coworkers are such a talented group of people, like on every level, from artists to programmers to the designers, you know, it's like everyone just really we, we wanna live up to the expectations that our fans have, so it really pushes us to work really hard and make make the best game that we can. Uh, I did some concept work um, in the beginning, but my true uh, title is user interface lead artist. So I oversee a group of three very talented graphic designers and uh, a programmer that design and implement all the user interface. And I do the renders of the characters. So when you're picking which character you want to be, those large renders, are, are, I do all those. Yeah, I mean, given that we were kind of like you know, the jump off point for the characters were their original costumes and they were kind of updating them. So in some ways, you know, that, you know, that could be seen as limiting. I thought it was fine. I, I kind of liked having a point to go from. However, we do have alt characters that you can unlock once you play through them in the story mode. And the, the alt characters are kind of where our opportunity to kind of add a whole, you know, add new creativity and new ideas to a character. No, I mean, the, you know, the color swapping that we used to do to, like, create new characters, like, that was kind of, like, back in the early 90s, that was, like, a cheap and easy way to add a, more characters to the roster. Um, but now that we're, we have, like, they're very individualized characters, and we are able to actually design characters, um, we really get to tell more about those characters' stories. And actually, when you play the game as, if you play through the, the single-player ladder mode, um, you'll really... At the end, you'll see an ending, which really gives a backstory about the character. And so, this is our opportunity to really just like give even more backstory and really like add to the lore of Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it's not. I mean, 
mean, it's not that the story is changing. It's it's more of a reinterpretation, and you know, it's just like there's a lot of things you don't know about characters. People have speculated about, and we're really kind of getting a chance to fill in the blanks a lot. So. Um, well, obviously, play, uh, the PlayStation 3 has Kratos, so that's a big difference. Um, and that, but you know, we try to keep it like pretty, them pretty similar. The only other difference would be in King of the Hill mode, you're actually using your Xbox avatars as you're in a theater watching, like, watching the King of the Hill play the game. Um, like, well, as a spectator, you know, that you're you see the little avatars. But for PlayStation 3, we have a really cool like um, avatar select screen where we created little Mortal Kombat avatars. So they've got big heads and big hands, and they, they look similar, but you know it's it's Mortal Kombat characters. So that was that's kind of a fun thing that we were able to do. Uh, yeah, we do have some tournaments planned. I know there's one in Las Vegas um, in May. I'm not exactly sure the date. I want to say like the 14th or 15th, but don't quote me on that. And it's actually because they're the, the people that put the, the stick fight sticks together. Um, they're holding that tournament and there's like cash prizes and it's going to be really awesome. So, I mean, you know, I think depending upon how that goes, you know, I'm sure, you know, we'd love to do more.